I consider myself a, a little bit late to the game. I was exposed to intellectual property when I was in law school. That's one of the things we're probably most hopeful for. You know, this week, in fact, the Patent and Trademark Office is in St. Louis at a teacher's academy. And this is helping to grow the next section of teachers who are gonna teach IP, which are gonna help educate our youth. For me, I grew up in Western Pennsylvania. I grew up playing sports, I was good at music, and I was actually good at science and math. So when I went to college, I started off as a double major in music and mechanical engineering. I ended up leaving music behind, sadly, to finish out in the more practical mechanical engineering. And then I went off and worked for General Motors for three years, uh, managing subcontracted plants for the company. But I went back to law school. When I went back to law school, everybody looked at my engineering and manufacturing background. Intellectual property is great. And I was like, okay, well, maybe I need to learn a little bit more. I knew what a patent and trademark and a copyright were. In fact, I had a song copyrighted when I was in high school. I knew what those were and I knew the general rights, but I didn't know about actually practicing in the area. But fortunately, I was given an internship with an IP boutique and uh, learned a lot, fell in love with it and practiced it. I've practiced in, in a few other areas also. I did IP litigation for the beginning of my career that I also moved to uh, and did civil rights. I was a senior trial attorney at the Justice Department in the C Civil Rights Division. It was an honor and a privilege to serve uh, following in the footsteps of my hero, Thurgood Marshall. And then I went to the Senate. In the Senate, I was a chief counsel and IP came back into my life because there were a swarm of IP issues that were before the Senate at that time. And I was one of the staffers who had actually worked with IP issues in practice rather than just the policy side. So it was a great time. And so that's how I got involved in intellectual property. Then I've, I've worked as an in-house counsel at a very IP intensive company. I continued on working in that area. So it's been a blessing. And it kind of, like I said, I kind of fell into it. But my hope is that, and part of my work is trying to make sure that anyone interested in intellectual property, trademarks and the copyrights, I want to reach you earlier in college so that you know that this is a career opportunity.